or more of your plastic waste can soon be put to good use. NTU scientists have developed a more efficient way to turn plastics into clean hydrogen fuel. Singapore generates about 830 million kilograms of unrecycled plastic waste every year. If converted into energy, that could power up to 1,000 five-room flats for a full year. From on this, Associate Professor Gregor Lissak joins us right now. Uh, Professor, we understand only a small proportion of our plastic waste is currently recycled. Why is that so? Thank you for having me. Actually, to answer this question, we have to understand where the waste, plastic waste, comes from. And the majority of it actually is being generated in our households and ends up in general waste, which means that ultimately is being incinerated. And for this fact, the recycling rate in Singapore is relatively low when it comes down to plastic waste. So actually what it means for the recycles is the waste, plastic waste, would have to be recovered from that general waste, which means that firstly, one would have to separate the plastic from other waste types, then probably segregate the plastic for it different types and ultimately clean, wash the plastic from all the residues that there are. And that makes it not economical for any recyclers currently to do. So I suppose an alternative to that is to find your plastic waste from elsewhere. So for example, a marine debris washing up on Singapore's shores, plastics making up nearly all of that debris. Or your team used waste plastic from marine litter collected here. How is that kind of plastic waste different from what you mentioned, for example, the plastic waste that we generate in our households? So, well, in the vast majority, the plastic that we ger generate in our households is very similar to the one that we see in marine litter. Obviously, there are differences. For example, uh, there is difference in contamination. In the plastic that we generate, there is quite a bit of residues of food. When it comes down to plastic from marine litter, from marine environment, we see more microorganisms little plants, small animals. Uh, so that sort of contamination has to be addressed when we think about the recycling of plastic. But the bulk of the plastic waste is basically the same. So with what you have developed, uh, how big of a resource can plastic waste be uh, in Singapore's push to be more green? The technology that we work on, that we developed at NTU Nuri, is actually converting the plastic into very useful resources, hydrogen and carbon, solid carbon material. In other words, carbon nanotubes. And that makes it very valuable process because we basically turn waste into treasure and we can help uh, the local economy in uh, basically generating local products that otherwise would have to be imported from elsewhere. Our process also generates much less carbon dioxide. So we lower the emissions of uh, carbon dioxide to the atmosphere that otherwise uh, would be generated during the incineration. So ultimately, this is an uh, environmentally uh, friendly process, but also can be a very good business, um, business concept for recycling, increasing recycling, and ultimately shifting that uh, very, uh, very um, troubled recycling rate of plastic that we have currently in Singapore. Well, if I could sum that up again, uh, what you mentioned, so aside from clean fuel like hydrogen, you can actually, your method can also yield uh, things, very useful byproducts such as solid carbon bits, or as you mentioned, carbon nanotubes. Uh, these can be used in applications such as batteries. Now, uh, what you have right now, converting plastic to hydrogen fuel and other useful byproducts, how viable is this if we want to scale this up and what are the next steps you might be looking at? 
The first step of this process, which is called pyrolysis, is actually commercially available. And that makes this technology to actually be scalable. Uh, what we work on is on the add-on process in which we convert all the plastic into solid carbon and hydrogen. And we do it through uh, implementation of additional reactor in which there is a material that was uh, patented at NTU uh, that converts, lets us uh, to convert the plastic vapor into hydrogen and carbon nanotubes. So that second part, the reactor is currently being uh, upscaled, we work together with our industrial partner as well as in NGO partners to actually look how sensitive the technology is uh, for different type of waste, different type of plastics, and in different type of context, Singapore context, local context, Indonesia, global. And uh, ultimately, what we wish to achieve is to bring this technology to a full scale, and we look for partners to do so. Oh, thanks so much for all that. Associate Professor Grigor Lisuk, Director of the Residues, Resource and Reclamation Centre, NTU with this uh, research looking into how to turn plastic waste into both clean fuel, that's hydrogen, as well as useful byproducts such as carbon nanotubes.